Quantum entanglement is one of the most mysterious and fascinating phenomena in quantum mechanics. When two particles become entangled, their states remain interconnected no matter how far apart they are. If you measure one particle, the state of the other instantly adjusts to match, as if the two are communicating faster than the speed of light. This was initially dismissed by Einstein, who called it spooky action at a distance. Yet decades later, groundbreaking experiments by Alan Aspect in the 1980s confirmed its reality. These experiments, conducted with photon pairs, demonstrated that entanglement defies classical expectations, suggesting that the universe operates on non-local principles. Now imagine applying this to the realm of consciousness. Could the human mind, like particles, be part of an interconnected web? If particles can remain entangled across vast distances, it raises the tantalizing possibility that minds, too, might share a hidden connection, enabling phenomena like telepathy or collective awareness. The Akashic Field Theory, proposed by systems theorist and philosopher Irvin Laszlo, builds on quantum entanglement to explore the interconnected nature of reality. Laszlo posits that the universe contains an informational field, the Akashic field, which acts as a quantum medium connecting all things. This field is thought to store and transmit information across space and time, creating a cohesive matrix of existence. Drawing from both quantum physics and ancient philosophies, Laszlo argues that consciousness is not confined to individual brains, but is instead part of this universal network. Experimental evidence from quantum mechanics supports this idea, such as the redundancy of information encoded in entangled systems. In essence, the Akashic field could act as a cosmic internet, where all thoughts, emotions and knowledge are interconnected. This theory invites us to rethink the boundaries of individuality and consider that our minds may be subtly influenced by and contributing to a collective consciousness. The human brain operates with remarkable synchronicity, with neurons firing in coordinated patterns to create thoughts, memories, and emotions. Recent studies suggest that these patterns exhibit quantum-like coherence. Researchers like Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff have proposed that microtubules within neurons may function at the quantum level, enabling the brain to achieve a state of quantum coherence. This coherence allows vast networks of neurons to synchronize their activity, creating unified cognitive states. If true, it opens the door to extraordinary possibilities. A coherent quantum state in the brain might allow individuals to tap into a shared informational field, much like particles in an entangled system. For instance, moments of collective focus or shared emotion, such as during global meditations or widespread grief, might create a resonance effect, linking minds across the globe. Such ideas are not merely speculative, they are grounded in emerging fields like quantum biology, which explores how quantum processes underlie life's most fundamental mechanisms. The notion of a collective consciousness gains credibility from empirical studies like those conducted by the Global Consciousness Project, or GCP. Founded by Roger Nelson, the GCP measures deviations in random number generators during global events to assess whether collective human focus influences physical systems. Astonishingly, significant correlations have been observed during moments of intense collective emotion, such as the 9-11 attacks or worldwide New Year's celebrations. These deviations suggest that human consciousness, when unified, might exert a measurable effect on the physical world. While skeptics argue that these findings lack definitive causality, the statistical anomalies are difficult to dismiss outright. This evidence hints at the possibility that consciousness operates beyond individual minds, potentially forming an entangled network. Could this collective awareness be a manifestation of quantum entanglement on a macro scale? If so, it might explain shared experiences, such as collective intuition or synchronicities, that defy conventional explanation.
Quantum entanglement's implications extend beyond science into the realms of philosophy and spirituality. For centuries, spiritual traditions have described an interconnected universe where all beings are one. The Buddhist concept of dependent origination, for example, teaches that everything arises in interdependence, mirroring the non-local connections observed in quantum mechanics. Similarly, indigenous teachings often emphasize the unity of humanity with the Earth and cosmos. These ideas resonate with physicist David Bohm's implicate order, which envisions reality as a seamless whole where all parts are enfolded into each other. If quantum entanglement forms the foundation of our universe, it may provide a scientific basis for these ancient teachings. Moreover, it suggests that spiritual experiences of unity or oneness may not be purely subjective, but could reflect an underlying quantum reality. This convergence of science and spirituality invites us to explore our existence not as isolated individuals, but as integral parts of a cosmic web. Understanding consciousness through the lens of quantum entanglement could revolutionize how we approach human potential, relationships, and global challenges. Imagine if collective consciousness could be harnessed to solve complex problems or foster global cooperation. Emerging research in quantum psychology and neuroscience is beginning to explore these possibilities, with studies investigating how collective focus or intention influences outcomes. For example, initiatives like Global Meditations for Peace often report anecdotal evidence of reduced conflict or heightened unity, hinting at the power of shared intent. If future research confirms these effects, it could lead to transformative applications, from advancing mental health treatments to designing AI systems that emulate collective intelligence. Furthermore, this understanding could redefine our sense of identity shifting the focus from I to we. As science continues to unravel the mysteries of quantum entanglement and consciousness, we may find that our greatest strength lies in our interconnectedness, offering new hope for a more harmonious and enlightened world.